Here we have a 23 plate Range Rover Sport Dynamic SE. Now this vehicle comes with just under £7,000 worth of optional extras, all of which are listed on the website. Just to mention one of them though, we do have the black styling package. We also have the 23 inch gloss black alloy wheels, all of which are in excellent condition and unmarked. As we take a closer look, you can see it just there. We also have the red brake calipers just behind. We have the white exterior paintwork, the LED daytime running headlights. We also have the blacked out Range Rover badging on the bonnet. And there's a look at that front end. Now this vehicle does come with the Land Rover warranty until the car is three years old. Coming around to the passenger side, you'll find we have the air suspension, so the vehicle can raise or lower. It's currently set to the access mode. We also have the side steps along the bottom. We have color coded door handles, which can fold in as the vehicle locks, if I just do it an example, I'll lock the door and then you can see the handles fold away flush with the rest of the doors. We do also have the power folding electric mirrors which have the blind spot assist. We have the black trim around the windows with the privacy glass at the rear. The panoramic glass sunroof up top is currently closed as it started to rain lightly. We can also get put onto a tilt or open all the way. Shark fin antennas at the top with the rear spoiler as well. Here's a look at another alloy wheel as you can see again on marked with the red brake calipers. We also have the 360 degree cameras with a visual display inside and the parking sensors as well. Coming around to the rear you find again the blacked out badging the Range Rover and also the Sport on the right hand on the left hand side sorry. Dual exit exhaust with the rear diffuser. We also have a power operated tailgate if you press the button here on the remote it will open just like so. Inside of here you found we have plenty of space we have the partial shelf at the top we also have a storage net on the right hand side and a 12 volt connectivity. We then have the button for the air suspension so you can make it easier to put things into the boot when loading. We also have the button just there, press that button and it will close again like so. Coming back round to the driver's side you can see the vehicle is free from any major marks, dents or scratches. If you just take a look at the interior, so just open the car back and the handles open like so. Inside of the back you'll find we have the full leather interior, we've got the two-tone inside of here, really nice interior, affordable armrest in the centre, we also have the vents down there for the rear passengers we have the usb ports as well underneath there both these outer seats are also heated and they also have the electric recline mode so as you can see we can recline it just like so we have the premium meridian sound system electric windows as well let's take a look at the front so you'll find the same leather interior we also have the extra armrest either side but again both these front seats are heated and they're also electrically adjustable with the memory functions controlled here on the doors we have the electric mirrors electric windows we also have the again meridian sound system there's a look at the panoramic glass sunroof from the inside We've got the multifunctional steering wheel which is also electrically adjustable with that stock there it's also heated as well let's take seat inside close the door put my foot on the brake and press the start button then the vehicle will start up for us we've got paddle shifters either side of the steering wheel automatic wipers on this stock here we have the adaptive cruise control lane keeping assist and the heated steering wheel can be activated by pressing that button we also have the automatic lights on this stock here digital dashboard in front of us free from any warning lights we can change the view by pressing this button here on the steering wheel so as you can see we have all these different options if we go to display layout we can change it so we can have a full screen of the map for the sat nav we can also go back onto this display layout and have a more classic dial look like so we have the main screen here in the center now if any of the screens or lights are flickering it is just the camera they're not flickering in real life so nothing to worry about we do have the sat nav navigation we also have the phone connectivities for making phone calls got the media options with the radio stations all along here as well go on to this car icon you'll find we have the different height for the air suspension so it's currently on access you can quickly tap this and it will change to the normal height we also have the off-road height as well just there if we go over to drive then you find we have the auto start stop button and the auto hold 
Going back onto the main menu, you can see all these different options just here. So we do have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. We also have the 4x4 information just here as well. As this vehicle is a very capable vehicle of going off-road, we have the weight sensing. Going back onto the main menu, we can scroll down and you find further features just there. Now moving further down, you'll find we have the climate control on these dials just here, the ice cold air conditioning. We also have the heated seats, which we can activate on this dial. Press it in, and then we can turn it to the right, and it will go up. Back down to the left, we also have the wireless phone charging just tucked underneath the screen there. If you put the car into reverse, then you'll find the 360 cameras will appear on the screen. We can flick through each individual one, just like so. As you can see, they all work as they should do. Now we also have the off-road camera, so if we press onto there, then if we start to move forward a little bit, it should activate the off-road camera. So press this button just here, move forward a little bit, and then you'll be able to see, we can see now underneath the vehicle. If you put it back into park, we also have then the different drive modes on here. It's currently on auto. Press this dial in, and then you can see we can switch between the different drive modes. So if we go from left to right, we have the dynamic mode just here. We also have eco, we then have comfort, grass, gravel, snow, mud ruts, sand, and also the wade. Let's leave in auto for now. Underneath here, you found we have the cup holders. We also have some extra storage underneath here as well, which has Again, USB ports just in the inside of there. Lever armrest, you can open that up and you find some extra storage inside of there. That's all I'm going to show you guys today though. If you'd like to find out more, please check out the website. This vehicle comes with free nationwide next day delivery. Thank you for watching.